Nanomedicine is the latest buzz in technology, with inventions growing smaller and smaller and their complexities growing bigger and bigger. Nanomedicine revolves around the construction of small robots and structures at the nanoscale, often involving dimensions that are just tiny fractions of the width of a human hair. Many forms of nanotechnology exist. Its most popular use is in medicine. This requires the construction of nano-sized robots that are injected into the human body to fight various medical conditions. This technology is the start of more effective drug delivery and early development in nerve regeneration research. DNA combines with nanotechnology to offer us an enormous range of benefits. If you think about the structure of DNA, it consists of a double-stranded molecule. This molecule can unzip to form somewhat of a branch molecule, but these branches can also be woven into structures that can self-assemble. Through the use of a double-stranded molecule of DNA, scientists can unzip the molecule partway and the branches will join with complementary sequences on the other DNA that branches out. Nanotechnology dates back to hundreds of years ago, where it was a naturally occurring process in the mixing of chemicals with stained glass production and pottery making. Just recently has this phenomenon been explored and used for practical purposes. Fast forwarding to 1974, scientists coined the term nanotechnology to describe the precision machining of materials within the atomic scale dimensional tolerances, which was the jump start to the exploration of nanotechnology. And finally, in 2000, President Clinton launched the National Nanotechnology Initiative to coordinate federal efforts and promote U.S. competitiveness in nanotechnology. With nanotechnology, robots can be constructed and used for microsurgeries on any part of the body and the surgery would only take place at the targeted area. To improve surgery, these nano-sized surgical instruments are provided with nano cameras to provide a close-up visualization of the surgery. Nanotechnology robots are being developed to treat defective heart valves and detect and treat arterial plaque in the heart. Nanomedicine will be able to help heal the hearts of people that have already been victims of heart disease and heart attacks. Nanomedicine is being used to strengthen the weakened heart tissue. The first method uses nanotechnology combined with tissue engineering. Golden nanowires are placed and woven into the damaged parts of the heart, essentially replacing the non-functioning or dead tissues. There are currently 200 companies and over 38 products in existence. These range from analysis tools to imaging tools. Nanomedicine is currently in the development phase, although widespread in production. Public opinion remains mostly neutral. A survey of 503 American citizens shows that it is viewed as less risky and more beneficial than human genetic engineering. Work is being done to envelop the integration of nanotechnology and biological molecules and structures. This will have huge impacts in the physical therapy, drug delivery, diagnosis, and analytical fields of medicine. Over 130 products are in development to revolutionize medicine. Thanks for watching, and this has been Team 2004 901 for Scientific Visualization.